We're talking today with Superintendent of Lincoln County Schools, Dr. Lori Morrow, and the Chair of the Lincoln County Board of Education, Kathy Davis. Uh, one of the things that I have noticed in doing research for this series is that while enrollment in the traditional public schools like Lincoln County Schools has remained fairly constant, that alternative educational uh, facilities are growing in some cases by leaps and bounds. What do you think the reasons are? Well, I think it's the promotion of school choice um, and the fact that um, the entities that are um, coming on board uh, that have applied for their charters and received them, uh, not all are uh, nonprofit, some are for profit. Um, so you just have to kind of take a look at the motivation behind those schools that are coming up. I think we are fortunate here in Lincoln County Schools to have um, a charter school that we have partnered with on several occasions um, that at least is well established. Of course one of the big differences Dr. Morrow in, in public schools, traditional public schools and charter schools is that uh, charter schools statewide, while that's not true locally of, of Lincoln Charter, for example, but statewide, some of them have had some real problems with performance. Yes, there have been some schools, uh, particularly in the Charlotte region, that have had some issues with performance, but we're fortunate here in Lincoln County that, as Ms. Davis said, Lincoln Charter is an established school, and we try to work together whenever we can because we know we serve all the students of Lincoln County. Okay, for for someone from the standpoint of a, a, a student, uh, what, what a student might get in school, tell me what the differences are between Lincoln Charter School or other charter schools, we'll use them as an example since they're local, and uh, Lincoln County Schools. There are several differences. Uh, for example, the charter schools are not required to follow the K-3 class size legislation which in public school we are required to have a certain number of students and cannot be, go beyond that number in grades kindergarten, first, second, and third grade. The charter schools are also not required to use the state assessment tool under the um, Excellent Public Schools Act that we are required to use. They have latitude in teacher certification in charter schools. 50% of their staff can be certified, where in public school we are 100% certified. So there are some notable differences. As far as curriculum goes, uh, your curriculum in, in most cases is somewhat set by the state DPI. Charter schools have leeway in their curriculum. Yes, we follow the North Carolina Standard Course of Study which matches the accountability model that we are held to so our students are taught and tested on the same standards. But our teachers do a great job integrating real life experiences and exposing our students to um, ideas and activities and things that are well beyond the scope of the standards and the curriculum itself. Well, the uh, teachers in, in, in your schools are all certified as, as you mentioned, do you think that makes a big difference? I think it does. Um, teachers learn when they go through an education program, they learn about content, they learn about pedagogy, they learn about class management, they learn about building relationships with students, and they also have experiences throughout their program working in classrooms with students and depending on their university where they study it might be at all ages K through 12 it might be just concentrated in elementary middle or high school depending on whatever degree and area that they're focusing on but I think all of those things are important experiences and they help teachers get ready and be prepared for when they enter the classroom and have their own set of students have their own behavior challenges need to build relationships with those kids and work with parents even though charter schools such as Lincoln Charter may have uh, some black and some Hispanic students, obviously the, the majority of uh, diversity 
in, in schools in our area is in the traditional public schools. You have much more diversity than uh, the charter school does. Do you think that makes a difference in the learning process? I think that's an important factor for students to experience because life is diverse. You're going to go to college or to work or to church or to belong to a club with people from all walks of life whether they are from different races, whether they come from different parts of the country, and what their income level is. And I think it's important for kids to experience that at a young age and understand and appreciate that everybody's different and what those strengths are and what those differences are and how we all work together. One of the things that is different, and, and, and I say this based on, on the conversation with the administrator of Lincoln Charter School, uh, that their emphasis is on college prep, getting students ready. In fact, they were founded with that idea in mind of getting students ready to go to college. Some of your students are going to college, but others are going to be looking for jobs. And there seems to me to have been an, a, a greater emphasis on in the last couple of years since you've been here of trying to prepare those students who are not going on to a four-year college at least uh, to get ready for a job in the workplace. Uh, can you comment? I think that's the beauty of Lincoln County Schools. We offer something for everyone, whether you're going to go to a four-year school, a two-year school, go to work, or go to serve the military. We know kids don't come to us that are exactly the same, so it's our responsibility to offer options. We partner with Gaston College and our students are able to take career and college promise courses which roll directly into Gaston College or can be credited at a state university. We have a great relationship with the Lincoln Economic Development Association here and we work hand in glove with our business partners as our kids are doing internships and experiencing apprenticeships. All of those things I think are important because we want our kids to find their passion, to find their love, to find what they want to do. Because again, not everyone is the same and we know that students want to have experiences and they want to be successful, but they also want to figure out, hmm, this might not be something that I want to do. So I think we offer something for everyone and that's really a strength of our school system. You mentioned the, the partnership with uh, Gaston College. It's actually possible now for students who are still in high school to begin taking their college courses and you might say get a leg up on, on uh, even if they're going on to a four-year program. Yes, we have students that take courses in 11th and 12th grade. Um, Gaston College has an articulation agreement with the North Carolina State Institutions and so those courses will transfer to a four-year school. They also will stay at Gaston College and they can build upon those if they choose to go to Gaston or another two-year school. So I think that that's really an advantage for students and it's an advantage for parents because it's a cost savings in the end as they're taking those college credits during their high school time. And as far as charter schools go, we of course have, uh, in addition to Lincoln Charter, which has been here since back in 1997, right. we have a, a new charter school that is opening in eastern Lincoln County uh, this fall. Uh, we have a charter school that is opening in Stanley this fall, just down in Gaston County. We have uh, a tremendous number of charter schools being added across the state over the next couple of years that have already been authorized by the state. Uh, is that going to create a shortage of funds for the traditional public schools? Well, of course it will. And, and I have to tell you that, that a few, just a few years ago when, when all of the charter schools started to, to pop up, there were a lot of attitudes and, and mine was the same, that I was afraid that um, the funding, the increased funding and the increased attention and the um, ease in which the charter schools were being approved was going to help further um, dismantle the public school system. Now, I'm not accusing any one political side, one or the other, of, of trying to dismantle it. I think the uh, objectivity is really to give 
families a choice, and I'm okay with families having a choice, but I don't want one sector to suffer over the other. I think all children deserve an equal opportunity to have the best education possible, and I still believe public schools gives them the best education possible.